What's up everybody, it's your boy Matt Turner back again with another video and as you can see I've changed some things around. I hope you guys enjoy the different view. But as usual, I'm sure you can tell by this video what I will be talking about. I will be doing a product review as well as showing you guys the first ever packer that I ever had. But before I get into that, Real quick guys for me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button um, so you can stay up to date on when I post videos. Um, I believe right now we are at 220 subs, so you guys are killing it as usual. Love the support. Um, if you haven't already, go check out my top surgery series. This video is kind of like in between of all of that. I didn't really have much of an update in terms of my top surgery. Um, the only thing that I recently had was a uh, my pre my virtual pre-op appointment, um, which just kind of was basically going over some of the stuff that they send you in terms of like documents, in terms of like how to prep and things of that sort. Um, and then also meeting with actually dots, uh, Dr. Scott Mosser and talking over the actual logistics of the surgery, as well as some recovery stuff. So there's a little update right there. That's all there really was to it. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, let's get into the video. So guys, this is my first ever packer. Well, that's kind of a lie. My first ever packer was with socks. Um, so there's that. But this is my first ever real packer. It is by California Exotics Novelty. Um, it is a kind of off-brand random. Um, well, they're not random because obviously, and it's not off-brand because it's obviously their brand. Um, but it's not one of the ones you would normally see in terms of like gender cat uh, mr. limpy uh, real magic um, speaking of which if you haven't already seen my real magic view I'll put a little card thing um, up there or you can go to my channel page and find it there um, but yes it's um, kind of a really unknown brand um, that you can find in any kind of uh, Tokyo Valentino um, that's where I got this one from uh, and I'll, I'll get into the rest. I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'll get into the rest of it um, in further into the review. So right off the back, um, quality. So the quality of this, um, in terms of like my current packer, it's very, very, very low, subpar almost. Um, it has, it's very sticky um, and tacky, as you can see, like, look at that. It's very, very sticky. Um, there aren't like any good colorations or details or anything like that. Um, as you can see, it gathers lint very well. Um, so there's that. Um, and it's just, just, just crazy. Let me see if I can focus in on it real quick. There you go. So as you can see, it's very sticky, very tacky. Um, there is some detail in it, like as you can see right here, um, there's some kind of uh, ridging um and right here as well there are some veins um, but nowhere to the detail and quality of my current real magic packer um <clears throat> but um for the price i think it's pretty good considering that this is only 30 dollars i'm not sure what um other packers of um, this quality are going for. I'm pretty sure Mr. Limpy is, is a little bit better um, and not quite as expensive, but considering we're talking about pricing, let's go ahead and get into that. So this was, um, I believe, max like $30, maybe 40. It was not expensive. Um, and considering that it was gonna be my first packer and I didn't really know what I wanted, um, I didn't really know a lot about them or where to get them, <clears throat> it was a pretty good opportunity to just get one test it out see how i liked it um so for the price and quality i would say it's all right um not the best uh but it was cheap and it was something that i could get really quickly considering that i was at the store and i didn't have to wait for it to be shipped to me <laughs> i could just take it home with me um but yes uh the uh price on this is rather decent uh if you if you can't drop it i'm you can easily like save up like 30 bucks so 
variety. So, of course, I am at considering, you know, I'm black, you can see my skin. I'm going to be talking about color variety when it comes to this bad boy. Um, obviously, this does not match my skin whatsoever. This is the only dark tone, well, that's a lie. They have one more tone that's lighter than this. Um, and at the time, they didn't have it. They've gotten a few more colors. Um, they have, I'm pretty sure they have one kind of uh, Caucasian white um, type color, uh, neutral undertone, and then they had one that was a little bit a shade darker with a red undertone, and then they had this one, and that were the only three options back when I first got this in uh, last, well, considering it's 2021 now, back in 2019 in October, that's so like two years ago, that's what they had. Um, wow, it's been two years since I had this packet, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> so much has changed, but now I believe they have one shade lighter than this, um, so I definitely think that that's a good opportunity um, for them as well as everybody else so that you don't, at the time, because you know, Genitalia is usually darker. This wasn't too big of a deal. Also, I just wanted a packer, so I didn't really care about the color at the time. So some quick pros and cons of the California Exotic Novelties packer. Uh, obviously, is that first off, it's sticky. Um, that's definitely a big, big uh, con uh, because it attracts a lot of lint. Even now you can see I've just washed this and this is just from being in my hand. Um, there's already a lot of lint on this. Um, and so it requires a lot of maintenance and just frequently washing it every single day and um, <clears throat> putting some kind of whatever you can do to really just make sure that it's not being super sticky. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I was fixing my, fixing my focus. Um, another pro of it though is obviously that it's very, very cheap, so you don't have to drop a lot on something super expensive. Um, kind of a con is the quality, um, but I feel like the price of it, and if you're kind of just desperately needing a packer, and there's a Tokyo Valentino somewhere near you, obviously if you're not 18, you can't go in there and get one of these, so that is a con for anybody under the age of 18, is that this is cannot be attained unless you're, you find it online somewhere, um, <laughs> uh, because you have to be 18 in order to even get into Tokyo. Valentino um, uh, but outside of that I really didn't have any other pros or cons to it overall I would rate it like a 5 out of 10 so just like smack dab in the middle um, because it was my first packer um, I am a little bit bias in the sense that um, just having it at that time uh, helped me feel euphoric and helped me be comfortable in my skin. Um, obviously, don't expect like a lot out of this. It's not an STP. Um, so <laughs> there's also like a harness that goes that they that this same company sells. I'm not sure if it was meant to be used with this. Um, I'm not entirely like I'm not entirely sure at all whatsoever. Um, but <laughs> there is that. Um, so actually, look, before I, I end this video, a little bit on um, how I would use this. Um, I personally don't really do like a lot of pockets or anything like that. So I always make sure that I am washing my packers frequently and sanitizing them all the time because they're just sitting there right on my bare skin. Um, and then I would go some days without it um, just because having, I'm sure having silicone um, directly on your bare skin can't be good every single day. So just to make sure that I'm being a little bit safe, I would take a break every now and then. But generally not, if we're being completely honest. I generally wouldn't take a break. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, 
So there is some kind of nostalgicness and biasness in terms of um, my love for this product. I absolutely don't use it anymore. I actually kind of hate it now that I have the Real Magic uh, Packer, and then just kind of sits in my drawer in the back, hidden away. <sighs> Anyways, guys, that is the video. Sorry if it's not quite up to quality compared to the rest of my videos. I feel like a little off. Um, and so there's that. So I'm sorry if this is really bad. <laughs> it was kind of uh, very sudden in the making of this video, um, but I hope you, you did find it useful. Um, if you have any questions about uh, the Packer, where to buy it, links uh, or specific things, I'm not sure what, you, what else you could possibly have a question about, but just put it in the comment section um, and let me know. Um, as usual, um, hit the thumbs up button uh, and like this video um, if you did. If you didn't, just, I mean, obviously hit the thumbs down button. But um, yes, like I said, comment for any questions. Um, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you can stay up to date on when I post videos. Y'all, two weeks and five days till my surgery, so Go ahead, follow me on IG at Morgan75751 because that's where most of my day-to-day -day updates will be while I am in San Francisco. Um, <clears throat> in addition to that, little secret, I'm gonna do a video later on in this, um, but your boy has started Minox. Um, I have been going back and forth on whether I wanted to start Minoxidil or not. Um, but I finally took the plunge and I did it. Um, I am three days in, I think, maybe four. Um, but once I hit one week, I will do an update video on that. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna call it like the Beard Talk series. I'm not quite sure. They're not gonna be quite as long as the rest of my videos. They're gonna be very, very short because there's not a lot of um, stuff to update. But so far, I have feel like I've been feeling a little bit more um, hair in my connectors and a little bit more growing on my chin. Um, obviously, they're not actual like terminal hairs, but we'll get more into that and my week update. As usual, you guys, it is your boy, Matt Turner. I will see you guys later. I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you are, and I will see you guys later.